<laughs> no, actually, see, initially I was not well for some days. Eh? First, I actually started with my network problem. Internet was down for two, three days, then I was not well for two, three days. Then uh, it became Sankranti holidays where everybody went uh, home. That became, so coupled with everything, it became a long leave. Three factors, not one factor. So, uh, Murugan, before um, like um, this break, uh, I remember you had said that you are going to take some sessions for that MAP, that uh, pricing, and uh, you mentioned that you might have another batch, so I, I have to attend like classes in that batch for that chapter. Yeah, yeah, one minute, one minute. Um, thanks for reminding. Mm -hmm. So, um, when, is, when is that going to begin or when would you be able? Yes, yes, one minute. Oh, this, this is... Uh, I think um, Smita will uh, Smita will join in a few minutes. Sailendra, what is your time now? Uh, my time right now is uh, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. right? Yes. I think 11 p.m. is two and a half hours uh, before this. I mean, like, mean 11 minutes, 10, 9. You are 8.30 p.m. Uh, will you be able to join for a session for a few days? Yeah, sure. Okay, that means uh, for a few days. I think you started, uh, okay, this one. You are starting only for today, theoretically speaking. Right? Yes. Yeah, because. Yes. And that other one you did not attend the background chess. So right. that five sessions, whatever I am telling, uh, MCOE and uh, MAP. So mm. you go to join tomorrow onwards at your time, uh, uh, 8 8 8.30 p.m. Okay. Now you are in 11 p.m., right? Yeah, now it's 11 p.m. Uh, so 8.30 p.m., your 8.30 p.m. is my 7 a.m. Yeah, you are so you go to join. Yeah, you are you are uh, 8:30 p.m. So okay. you are 8:30 p.m. to your 9:30 p.m. You go to join for one session. Again, this time 11 p.m. So two sessions you attend for five days. After that, you attend only this batch. Yeah, that is the plan. Okay, so so you will begin this MCOE from tomorrow, right? Yes, tomorrow you are time uh, 8:30. 8.30, okay. You I are now know. what? You are now already 11 p.m., right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tomorrow your time... Uh, 8.30, right? Yeah, 8 so, yeah. so that is confirmed, right? In case there is some change... You, that is confirmed. Uh, did you give me your email ID? Yeah, sure. It is shailendu.shrop and... No, you, you, you ping me here. Okay. In the chat window, you can ping me here. Yeah, I got your email ID. I will send the link. Okay. Yeah. You can join. That will be a separate link. This will be a separate link. This link what you are joining now, this is a link. And that link what you are going to join at 8 p.m., that will be a separate link. I will send that one. Okay. So, who is serious join? Smida. One minute, guys.
Yeah, you can start the session, Morgan. Uh, maybe uh, Smita will join in the middle. Will you plan for long uh, sessions on this weekend so that it will be faster? Like we can uh, cover this gap. Prashant? Uh, I'm not very keen on uh, weekend because weekend we have got some family activities and all. Okay. But, uh, but uh, probably on uh, so, so, so Sunday evening or something. But uh, I would also uh, uh, leave it to others, Nita and uh, Shailandi. If they are also okay, I can somehow... Uh, okay, manage. let's do one thing. Otherwise, we'll increase half an hour more extra, uh, like in the regular sessions only. Yeah, of, yeah, that, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's better. Instead of one hour? Uh, 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 half an hour more will not be uh, correct. Karthik, which is Karthika. Okay. Next online, who is this? Karthik. Yeah, Karthik. Karthik, what we can do is alternate session. Ah, is that Okay, oh, see ya, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, tell see ya, right. Yeah, she's about to join. Okay, okay. Once she joins, then I think probably we can tell you. She's okay for two sessions, then I'm okay. You are okay for present? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, what about Shailendra? Yeah, I'm I'm okay too. I mean, it's uh, no, yeah, it will take three hours then. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know it's gonna be a lot. Uh, yeah, so one extra session is you are attending the other batch, right? Which you left to get MCOE and MFP. Okay, then I can go. Even today I can go. Or if she, well, let's just see what Smita says. Hello? Yes. No, it's, uh, so sorry, uh, she, she has sent a diff different link. Can you go log on to your Yahoo mail? And uh, she, has sent a, uh, she has sent a new link. It's not the same link. Uh, meeting number, let me just see one minute. It is 871 uh, Eight seven one seven six nine four eight five. Yeah, okay, see yeah. ya. Uh, I think uh, today uh, today we had a new meeting ID, you know. So uh, she is, she was uh, she was waiting in that old place. Hello? Hello? Uh, hi, this is Smita here. Hello, Mugar? Yes, yes, I am there. Smita, are you able to hear us? Yes, Mugar. Okay. okay, so good to hear you here. Okay, something. So actually, what <coughs> me and Prashant and Sailendra were, everybody was discussing is that uh, to have two double sessions for two, three days to make loss for the days lost. So that means uh, today or tomorrow we can have 
it will have one hour we go to our session so would it be okay for you no uh, i am not at all okay 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 no problem so let us continue with this uh, current one prashant what do you want to say do you want to say something uh no uh yeah okay then if that, that's the case we will uh, stick with uh, with your studio okay. okay. yeah thanks guys so now we today i am starting with hpm hydrocarbon product management so hydrocarbon product management is basically into two sessions so one session the conceptual or background part second session the practice part first i will tell you what is hydrocarbon product management so hydrocarbon product management basically a topic deals with temperature aspects or environmental factors in the petroleum business so i companies like shell bp and all is involved in refining market storing and the marketing of petroleum products so these products are subject to environmental factors most importantly temperature and the temperature increases the volume changes volume changes that is the basic uh, issue with this business not only temperature other factors involved are density pressure like this so many factors are there i will show you in the system more than 162 factors are there so most important and widely used is temperature now let us take a scenario two scenarios i am going to take only storing of petroleum products How do they store the petroleum products? In big big tanks. I think you might have seen the oil terminal. like this big big tanks they store let us take one tank these are all called terminals now let us take example assume that the tank is empty we take this particular tank take this particular tank for example in one of our terminals I think that the tank is empty now. Morning, six a.m. The tank receives ten million liters. 
this side. At that time, say the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius. Afterwards, we don't do anything. Lunch hours, noon time. We check the volume. the tank if the time the temperature changes changes say after 25 degrees Celsius so the volume is 10 million liters or 11 million liters night and then temperature drops 20 degrees Celsius volume changes to 9 million liters. So if you observe this phenomenon, we are taking only one particular tank. In the particular tank itself, we are taking, checking, this is example is for example, this given illustration is for example. Okay. Morning there is a volume, lunch time or noon time there is a one more volume and the evening there is another volume. In the same tank, same product. We were not done anything except morning receiving the product. Okay. Now, these things happen due to the end out in the oil industry. Okay. Now, in this additionally we may receive the product we may dispatch the product from this tank. These are all additional complexities available. Okay. Now, how do you deal with the issue? Actually, what is the volume? That is the question. Should I say the volume inside the tank is 10 million liters? Should I say 11 million liters? Should I say 9 million liters? So, what is the actual volume? of the product in the same tank. What will be the actual volume? Okay. So actually in oil business this is the issue. There is nothing called actual volume. Okay. What we are supposed to do is we are supposed to record the inventory as and when we take by maintaining temperature and the time storm. I have to maintain morning 6 am I check the volume that time the volume was 10 million liter, that time the temperature was 21 degrees Celsius, time was 6 am. <coughs> Again you have to maintain the inventory. Again at 12 o'clock. Okay. So this is you see the completely different from other industries. The inventory doesn't change, inventory changes here without receipts or without a stock, just with changes in temperature or environmental factors. This is a big difference in the oil business compared to other industries. Okay. So this part is called how to record this information in the system. So now we see the inventory management, which is you are, you are all I think Smida and uh, Mr. Prasant, they are all already well versed with the SAP system. So they know that in other in other SAP places how do we do? They know the difference now. In other SAP places. If you grab the stock, the stock is stock. That's it. Here it is not like that. Here when you say your inventory at what temperature, what time, time and temperature, both the stamp you go to record it. So there is nothing called actual volume. The volume depends on what time you are checking the volume and what is the temperature at that time. 
so this is called inventory management or silo management so is it clear so far how the inventory management how it is different in oil compared to other industries So, Murugan, yeah. um, besides the temperature, do they look at other factors also like uh, pressure and other things while recording? Yes, the yes, yes, they look at all the other relevant factors for that particular product. I am taking temperature for only for example, one factor. Okay. Wherever I am putting temperature, you go to understand that that is those relevant factors for that product. For example, if you are taking for example for gas, LPG or LNG, there obviously the pressure also will be taken into account, at what pressure, right? So those things are there. So petroleum industry is having number of products, each product is having its own product, its own parameters. What parameter it is, you need to understand in that context. Temperature is given for example. Because it is one of the widely used parameters. Smitha, are you okay? okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm following you. Yeah. yeah. Now, one more thing in this. Suppose if I am making a stock registered for this, what I will do? For example, I want to say what is the, I, how I will maintain a stock register, I go to maintain opening stock. What is the opening stock that day? 9 million or 10 million liters diesel. What is the closing stock? Nine million liters. Now, our opening stock was nine ten million liters diesel. Our closing stock in the night was nine million liters. One million liters lost due to temperature variation. This happens in the oil industry. Today it may be lost, tomorrow it may be gained. So to main record all this information in the oil business, what they do? They maintain some register called gain-loss record. Recording of gains and losses. So this 1 million liters loss they will post to this gain-loss record or gain-loss account. So this is one part of HPM. The second part, dispatch. Yeah. Yeah. So this gain loss account is this different account head itself uh, to manage this. Yeah, yeah. Separate a GL account they will create and manage this. Okay. GL account itself is different for this purpose and it is maintained by all the oil companies. It is approved by the law. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is one part. Second and most important part, dispatch. Dispatch of product to the customer. Dispatch means dispatch of big amount of product maybe by rail wagon or pipeline ship okay. Okay. Then, again. Okay. 15 million okay. 
Jacqueline. Today, after noon, to be a customer at 27 degrees Celsius. So, minus cell, for example, cell, cell can Now, Shell company is sending some 15 million liters of gasoline. This big industry, let us assume, like Ford or uh, General Motors, like that. Today noon at uh, say at 27 degrees Celsius. With that customer tonight. The product is reaching the customer today night. By the time the product reaches the customer, the temperature drops. And some wear and tear, all those reasons. The volume changes to 14 million liters. Now, cell sent 15 million liters gasoline. Customer received 14 million liters. Now, what is the quantity the customer is What is the quantity the customer will pay for? Will he pay for 13 million liters or 14 million liters? I think this is discussed as already as part of gross net pricing. Okay. If you can recall our MFT session, we discussed the concept called gross net. So there are two two solutions for that internally. Mm -hmm. One is called the gross. Gross means customer pays for 15 million liters. Our concept is net. Yes. Convert the quantity to Net temperature. Net temperature is 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe we are getting 14.5 million liters. option is net. Net means convert the quantity that is 15 million liters to a net temperature. Net temperature is 15 degrees Celsius or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. So 15 degrees Celsius is, will be used, this are internationally used temperatures. You and me are not deciding. Okay, These are all used in the oil business. 15 degrees Celsius is used in case of liters. So, clean Fahrenheit is used in case of gallons. So, now when I am converting this 15 million liters to 15 degrees Celsius, assume that the quantity is 14.5 million liters. The customer space for this, that is called net. It is not 14 point, in fact it will become right here. 
saving time. Okay. 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 So this this concept we got already seen is part of graph net. Now, okay, up to this it is clear what is graph net. How to do that I am going to tell you. So Murugan, this so who is going to decide that customer is going to pay on gross or like it is uh, on the um, like uh, uh, for the customer's uh, terms and conditions which quantity they are going to pay? Yeah, generally speaking for big customers it is always on net because they have more this one. So the mostly it happens by way of agreement between the customer and the supplier. Okay. okay. They decide of the initial only. That is most of the cases. Sometimes what happens there is legal restrictions also. What is legal restriction? In countries like Russia, you are supposed to always build the customer on net temperature, not on your temperature. It is legal there. Legal. <coughs> Okay. In some countries, it is legal to do on the net. Okay. Uh. So mostly for uh, like retail outlet or gas station customer, this issue doesn't come. Even if there is a small variation of 10 or 15 liters, they don't bother. But here the quantity is <coughs> huge, and the players involved are big, so they they are bothered about that. So mostly it is between agreement between customer and buyer. Uh, seller and uh, customer and uh, sometimes due to legal restrictions also okay. and if the supplier is a monopoly in a particular market obviously he will not uh, go for uh, net he will go for gross okay. sometimes that is also happening okay. so it depends on the scenario uh, most of the cases we can take it for uh, your understanding that it happens between the agreement or contract between seller and buyer that is what determines initial round of discussions determine all these things okay, okay. so so far it is clear Sailendra are you okay so far okay. yeah I'm following okay good now Our question, grass is a simple thing. That's what we supplied with the paper. That is actually a issue. Now, how to do the conversion? What are the information you know as far you are concerned? Second thing is net. I have, I have told you convert the quantity. How to do the conversion? Who is going to do that? So what are all we know? We know the product or material. What is our product we know? What is our quantity we know? What is our temperature we know? density we know, pressure, all these factors we are all aware, right. product, material, quantity, temperature, density, pressure, all these things we are all aware. Now, I know my product is 15 million liters at say 27 degree Celsius. How to convert to 15 degree Celsius? For that, you need to undertake a quantity conversion package or software. Either you go to install in your system or you go to have linked with that server. quantity conversion software 
Now, where are you get the quantity conversion software? API. What is the API? American Petroleum Institute. They are having quantity conversion software packages. Either you can purchase them, keep it in your server, or you can link it to their servers online. This is uh, API, then there is something called the ASTM. American Society for Testing of Computers. Then AGA, American Gas Association. These are the people involved with this quantity conversion license as zero games, software and all those things, majorly. Apart from these things, so many other organizations are involved. So what the implementation people can do? They can, if, the, if it is available as a package, they can purchase the package and install along with the SAP server or they can make a live server connection to this uh, server due to the quantity conversion. At least the API is concerned, generally they do not sell it. What they do? They allow you to do to make a connection to their server so that you give the input what you know. You know the product quantity temperature and all. They tell you what is the converted quantity. Now, there is a quantity converted software, either in the system or online. There you give the your input product material quantity temperature density per number. It converts, you know, it converts in your prepared temperature volume and all density and all and it gives you back the converted quantity. If you want it to be in degree Celsius, it will convert. If you want it to be degree Celsius, it will convert. Whatever you want, you are telling to be converted. It will convert and it give back to you. So that is a process called the quantity conversion process. So how that happens? At the time of creating delivery document. or goods issue document. this quantity conversion happens. Somebody is already aware of sales process, sales order, delivery, billing is the process. At the time of creation of delivery, this one happens, quantity conversion happens. Is it clear how this quantity conversion happens? What is the dispatch process? So, so there is uh, an for this purpose, one minute a person, there is an interface for this particular, that is called quantity conversion interface. Yeah, now you can go over it. Yes. So, uh, so from SAP, how do you call this interface? Is it a BAPI? Yes, if it is a server access, uh, online service access, it is a battery. 
And uh, do you know the name of the Bapi? Bapi, I don't know the full name, but it starts with the QCI. You can put it in the system and check it. Uh, so you what? Go to transaction code uh, Bapi and uh, put to QCI, you will get that. Yeah. Okay, QCI. Yeah. Smida, are you following? Yes. Salendra? Yeah. So regarding our servers are concerned, our servers are training servers. So there is some inbuilt calculations available by SAP ISI. Based on that calculations, we will be getting the results because we are not connecting to the real-time quantity conversion with servers. Okay. So that is the limitation what we are having in this training. But the process everything it is we are going to see in this system how it is working. Now I have told you the concept. I will show you some more theoretical points. So, I will show you some more PPT documents. So, hydrocarbon product management basically involves with the two, two persons. One is quantity conversion, other one is solo or inventory management. So, out of this, the most important is quantity conversion. Quantity conversion converts volume, masses and energy at ambient conditions. We see the parameters now. Into volumes, masses and energy values at a standard condition. In addition, the quantity conversion application has to calculate density and repeating value at a standard condition. External programs, that is the API, ASTM tables can be used for calculating complex oil volume correction structure and natural gas compression factor. Shallow management system provides functionality for managing physical inventories in tanks by creating tank kits. Used in comparing both inventories at any time with the book stock. That way gains and losses can always be determined and goods movement can be monitored. So, oil quantity conversion, gas quantity conversion, oil and gas quantity conversion, the configuration, settings, everything same, except that for natural gas, uh, the gas quantity conversion routines are, the tables are different than oil quantity conversion tables. Oil and gas quantity conversion, the purchasing cycle, oil and gas quantity conversion, same cycle, oil and gas quantity conversion, TD. Oil and oil products are bulk products in liquid form that are processed and shipped in large quantities by the oil industry. Even in the smallest fluctuation in temperature can result in considerable fluctuation in volume. And yes, the result is still a significant fluctuation in value. This is what the point. Okay. So, if you want to measure density, density equal to mass by volume. Oil quantity conversion allows volume at ambient temperature and density at test temperature to be converted into density volumes masses at standard temperature. What is the standard temperature? It is generally 15 degree Celsius or 60 degree Fahrenheit. Neutral measure, unit measure group, oil conversion group. This is what the screen looks like, quantity conversion screen in SAP. If you see on the top, we are giving some basic information, material, plant quantity, 
and in the left side we go parameters which we know material temperature test temperature gravity meter correction factor all those things and the right side the converted quantities the conversion is happening in barrel gallon all these things air bank structure gas quantity conversion these things are physics you can read so so the uh, interfaces yeah the previous screen uh, murugan yeah that uh, sap the qci screen so which is this uh, t code is it a metal master t code Mm -hmm. No, this this is actually a calculator. Okay, so the calculator there is a functionality in the calculator in the SQL. I will show you in the system here. Okay. See the oil quantity conversion, how it happens in the purchasing cycle. Purchase contract, purchase order, goods movement to invoice variation. At the time of goods movement, this happens. This is the gain loss I was telling you. Okay. And about the gain loss. what is the appendix here? Yeah, appendix is your that uh, uh, gain loss uh, record. Okay, gain loss record. I will I will show you that. Okay. Okay. I was I will come back to the earlier point. Okay, I think I will come to that after only two slides are there. I will come to that. In if I have to introduce a term called book quantity and actual quantity, I will tell you what is that. Okay, I have introduced that term. In case of sales cycle and in delivery, if this one happens. Okay. Whatever is the quantity conversion happens in delivery, it gets copied to the invoice. In purchase and the sales, both in delivery, this happens. Okay. Now. I get taken two examples. One is inventory, other one is dispatch. Now, using that, I get explained what is your inventory management in oil industry. What is a quantity conversion? Both I get explained. Now I will mix up the two and I tell you how what is that. What is I want to introduce one more terminology called actual stock and the book stock. I will again. I will again take the same tag for your example. So take the same tank. So take for example today morning the tank receives ten million liters twenty one degree Celsius. During the day, again, tank raises two million liters. What? 
and it will be safe. Then dispatch product happens for <coughs> five million liters. Diesel during the day from this tank. Hmm. Now, what is the closing stop? So, the dispatch happens at what time is centigrade? It happens throughout the day. It so. can be at 21, 22, 23, 18, 19, anything. It can Theoretically speaking, what should be a closing stop? Theoretically, it should be 10 we get, we get morning opening stop plus 2 minus 5, 7 million. This, is, this should be the volume theoretically, maybe 6.9 or 7.1, but this will be the theoretical stop. Maybe whatever it may be the temperature at the closing time. Okay. Closing time may be the temperature is again 22 degrees Celsius. The evening. But uh, practically, this is called a book stop. Are theoretical stop. And practically, you know, as well as since, since morning I am explaining, it is never the same because temperature, pressure, density, so many other factors are operating in the product. It may be more or less depending on the closing temperature or everything. Let us see. Six million liters. Okay. So the difference between theoretical stock or book stock and actual stock is called gain loss. As far stock purpose is concerned. That's why that uh, that appendix, whatever you are seeing, the appendix, all these details will be maintained. What is the book stock, what is the actual stock, what is the temperature, all those things will be maintained there. Okay. So, this is the terminology called theoretical stock, book stock and actual stock. So, it is clear what is book stock and actual stock. Theoretical stock is based on the documentary evidence. Morning I received 10 million liters. I received, I dispatched a so and so product based on so many invoices. What should be the stock? So, theoretical stock is not a measured one, it is based on documents only. So, Murugan, theoretical stock and book stock are the same, right? Ah, same. Same, okay. both are same. Actual stock, how do they measure? Okay, I told you theoretical stock, how do they find out? So, morning if I receive 10 million liters of diesel, somebody will send me some document. I sent you 10 million liters and you enter there. And again, if I am selling some 5 million liters of diesel, I will be making delivery documents and invoices, right? So, based on that, I will come to know, okay, 5 million liters of diesel sold today from this tank. That, that is easy. How to calculate the actual stock? Okay, there is a tank like this. 
this tank is having some diesel how do I calculate the actual stock of this tank right now I want to know what is the quantity of diesel involved in this so for that purpose for calculating actual stock there is a process called the deep reading deep checking deep checking is nothing but in your motor vehicles or car and now you got that lubricant to, to measure that you got your smart dipstick right similar to that big dipstick will be there in the oil business so that will measure the height of that that uh, based on that height the calibration there will be a calibration chart for this tank the calibration chart will mean they will maintain what is the volume so based on that they will maintain that they will come to the actual stock so after stock is they are measured Just now, the freedom. Then calibration chart. They measure the actual stock. So deep reading is basically a big uh, meter, meter like uh, you got the normal meter right to measure the case. Ten meter, they use similar meter they use in the eye business. And for each grade, what is the volume? They maintain the calibration chart. They like based on that they get the actual stock. Difference between book stock and actual stock for the given day is measured as gain or loss. So all these things forms part of quantity conversion. Now, regarding silo management, some points. In silo management, physical inventories are managed by tank bits or level indicator. Physical inventories can be physical store inventory means theoretical stock or book stock. Physical inventory means not book stock, sorry, actual stock. Physical inventories can be compared with book stocks for reconciliation. Okay. These things are some technical factors. We need not bother about that. This is what I was telling about the book stock. Actual stock. The bottom portion is your actual stock. Top portion is your theoretical stock. Okay. So theoretical stock, how do you measure? You are having morning 1000 kg, then you are having receiving some goods issued document, then goods issued document, some goods received document, then goods issued document, then it goes to 1100 kg based on the documents. Again you do goods issue, goods issue to goods issue, goods issue, then 5500 kg in, in this closing time. Same thing based on deep checking actual, 1000 may become uh, 1000. Uh, 10,085 difference then 5250 so actually will always be different from the theoretical one okay, any doubts so far Whatever I discussed, I go given here. How do they do in the oil industry? How do they measure the inventory? Inventory they measure up generally every one or two hours they measure and maintain in the system. So while maintaining the inventory, they maintain the temperature also. So did you get these documents, custom documents? I think I sent to like me the other day. Yeah. Salendra? Yeah, yeah, I, I got these documents. 
Lakshmi sent it to us last week. Yeah, yeah. So this is the theoretical question for Gatshmi. Next session we will see the practice question. Before we go for next session, I want to know your servers are working, all of you? Yes. The SAP yes. servers? Yeah. Can I check it? One or two of them? Okay. Yeah, you, yeah, you can take uh, my ID. I think Silent Guy is asking today document, we will send up us. Okay. So which system you are using Prasant? You can go to oil 10. Not oil 10, I want to know this one. Uh, IP address is 122, 175. One minute. Ah, three four yeah. one four seven. Right. Yeah, this is the one. I ten. Welcome four. Yes, it is working. So you go to S T R work yet? Yeah, yeah, just one minute. Yeah. So, so uh, what is it you are trying to show, Morgan? I am just trying to show where is your STM. S T R O. Transaction code. Yeah. Enter. Click on reference IMG. Come to the bottom. Industry solution iron gas downstream. Here you see the HTM hydrocarbon product. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we are going to see this. Uh, actually, though it is having two parts, silo tank management, quantity conversion, our concentration will be more on quantity conversion. Okay. Anyway, we are going to see this in the next session. Now, Nida? Uh, Yes, Nirvan. I am following you. Okay, you, you told that uh, you can't extend the time. Will you be able to advance the time? Murugan, I have a one year old daughter. You know, it's very difficult for me to <laughs> advance the time. Yeah. So okay, no problem. I maybe can. every day we can, we can extend it by 30 minutes or something like that. You know. But may not be more than that. Okay, no, I, I think already somebody put forward this idea of 30 minutes. The problem is uh, one minute. Okay, the problem is uh, with the 30 minutes extension, you don't we can't do anything. Okay, because one one session has to be complete session. Then oh, okay. Then you can ask you something. Either it has to be one hour or no. <coughs> Yes, the 30 minutes we will be covering off way in between. Suppose tomorrow's session, for example, I want to complete the practice portion of HPM. So how do I leave it in between 30 minutes, 30 minutes, how do I take it? Even you will uh -huh. get confused. Yeah. What yeah. I can do, probably, there are some sessions only theory, 
there I can extend by 30 minutes. That way I can solve. Yeah. Theory sessions only. There I will not have any problem. For example, I go, I think in TD, I think we go to theory sessions. There I can plan it like that. Yeah. 30 minutes extension. Let us see how it works out. Yeah, Prasant, you wanted to say something. No, you can't. No. Oh, sorry. Yeah, silent Rava. Okay. No, I, I was saying, yeah, we can we can just stick to the one hour session because um, by the time the session completes, it's midnight here. Okay. Okay, no problem. So, Sailendra, I think you gave me your mail ID. So, what I will do, I will send across to you the uh, another link, which you are supposed to join your time. I think my time 7 a.m. I think we can convert whatever may be your time. Okay? Okay. That is one link. And the another link is this one, what you are using already. Okay. So, that link you will join for 5 sessions for uh, the purpose of uh, uh, completing your leftover sessions. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Then we will meet tomorrow the same time, guys. Yeah. I okay. am logging out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll see. We'll see tomorrow at same time. Yes. Yes. Same time. Okay. Okay. Thank guys. you. Okay. Thanks, Thank you.